so now we're going to say that uh, that we're going to get the actual uh, money. Now, also note that you might have a situation where you'd say, well, how did I come up with this like a uh, $300 amount? If someone called in and they're like, I want to get a guitar or something like that. And you're trying to figure, well, how did I come up with the 300? You might use the estimate in that case. So just to get an idea of like how the estimate, like you might say, okay, if someone called in and they're saying, I'm, I want a guitar and we're saying, okay, we'll give, we'll possibly, we'll see how much it is. I might use the invoice to try to figure how much, what they want to purchase is, or I might use an estimate form, which is like an invoice, but uh, it's going to be an estimate, the step before an invoice. So I might say, if I'm talking to someone on the phone and they're, and they're telling me that they're, they're going to want to possibly purchase something, I might think, then make an estimate and say, okay, Anderson is talking about this thing that he wants to purchase and it's as of and then if they're like okay i'll say this was on the 022523 let's say and then down here let's say they're saying i want to purchase an epsh and we're going to go okay that's let's say they want two of those for whatever reason and they also want an el the good old elp one of our standards the Epiphone Les Paul, we're gonna say that's gonna be one of those. And so that comes out to 1,300. So we might be talking to him and say, okay, 1,300. And then I'm gonna change the amount down here to be our 5% generic on the sales tax. So that comes out to a total of 1,365. And we might use this and have a standard policy of saying, okay, maybe we're gonna take you know 10% of that to commit you to the sale so that we'll hold on to the guitars until you get here. Otherwise, these are popular guitars, Mr. Anderson. They might be gone by the time you, especially that color you wanted. You gotta commit to it right now with like a down payment or else th those things go like hot cakes. So, <laughs> and so, so this won't actually record anything, but you might use this to kind of make, uh, make the estimate and then record the down payment uh, related to it. And then I, when they come in, I could see the estimate and the credit amount in their account. So let's say, for example, I save and close this and Mr. Anderson uh, comes in and now I can see, okay, yeah, I've got an estimate here and then I've got the $300 that I'm trying to apply to it. So if they actually come in and they wanna follow through with that after making this payment, we're gonna say, okay, then I could create the invoice from the estimate if I so choose. 